easily beat the Rock Barbarian challenge with this deck. This challenge goes up to 12 wins and the unique thing about the Rock Barbarian challenge is there is a Barbarian in the middle playing a guitar. Now this Barbarian will randomly shoot out lightning from his guitar and if it hits one of your troops that troop will gain the rage effect meaning it will get faster movement speed and faster attack speed. So the best deck for this challenge is Fireball Bait. This deck is great at attacking both towers at the same time. On top of that there's a ton of targets for that rage effect to hit making this deck very good. Let's hop into a game and I'll show you how to play Fireball Bait. Okay into a game and first play here we're going to play a goblin hut. For you guys that do not know the goblin hut can get affected by the rage spell and spawn goblins faster. Way better than the goblin cage he does go electro giant at the bridge so we have zappies the perfect counter to that electro giant. He does tornado it in but that's fine we are just going to play a flying machine and this electro giant didn't stand a chance. He does go firecracker at the bridge, we are going to arrows that, and that goblin ruler did a little bit of damage, but that's okay. We are going to barbarian bow here, doing that just to protect our flying machine, so we get a bit of extra damage. Obviously that flying machine gets raged up every now and then, which is beautiful, really helping out, and we have taken a massive damage lead. My golden knight here, going to use the dash ability. Obviously he missed the log and that is a dash onto the tower. The rage effect happened giving me the entire tower boom. A single elixir we've already taken the tower and we are in a great spot. Going to go with another goblin hut here. He lightnings that's fine. Going to go with royal hogs here and then go with a fly machine in the pocket. Again the royal hogs get hit by that rage. They're even more faster attacking faster. It is beautiful stuff. Again taking a massive damage lead down that left lane. Here we're going to golden knight like this. Doing that just to distract the phoenix, pulling it to the center, letting both towers shoot it. And I want to save my zappies for his electro giant. That's why we didn't play zappies there. Anyway, this golden knight, going to hit this king tower. That's beautiful. Going to play zappies at the back. Going to play a goblin hut here for this electro giant. He might lighten in this. And if he does, that's fine. He tornadoes and then uses the ability way too early. I barbarian bowed it, making sure that ability was useless. We take out that electro giant and it's game over. It's so easy with this deck. Definitely by far the best deck for this challenge. That is a second tower taken. And do we get the three crown? That's the big question here. And we do. That is beautiful. And just like that, we are 12 and 0 in this challenge. I'm not going to lie. This challenge was harder than other challenges. But let's claim our 2000 season tokens. And like always, I will show my battle log so you guys can see I didn't reset set this deck got me 12-0 by far the best deck for the challenge also I faced so many mega knights it was insane but you guys can see the matchups here overall a very solid deck and yo I really hope you guys enjoyed leave a like of course subscribe if you have not already and as always make sure you guys take care brush your hair and peace out Whoa!